hi everybody welcome back to another insert my name is lebo and today we are in the kitchen which means that i'm cooking and i will be making a creamy garlic and prawn pasta so if you want to find out how i made this dish stick around So I will be starting off with the pasta and what you want to do is get boiling water into your pot and put enough water for enough pasta for you and your family. So for this type of dish, I suggest you use linguine, but I couldn't find linguine pasta, so I'm using this alternative. Then add in enough pasta for you and your family. I'd suggest you use about three handfuls, but it's up to you. Next, I add in just a bit of oil so that my pasta doesn't stick together. Then I add in salt for taste. Stir your pasta every three minutes or so, so it doesn't stick together. Cook your pasta for about 10 minutes. Next, you want to get your ingredients for the prawns or shrimp ready. You will need mozzarella cheese, about 3 to 5 garlic cloves, parmesan cheese, I used a whole packet of prawns, paprika, chicken stock, fresh cream, butter, black pepper, salt, chili flakes and garlic powder. Next, we want to reserve some pasta water for later. I suggest you reserve about half a cup. So you want to get a different saucepan for your prawns and we're going to start off by melting some butter. I add in about two tablespoons of this. Then add in your prawns. Notice that there is a bit of excess water in my prawns and this is because my prawns were a bit frozen before I cooked them but this is totally fine.
Then you want to transfer your prawns into a bowl, a dish, a plate, whatever you choose. If your prawns did not have excess water then I advise you add in a tablespoon of butter into the same saucepan and then add in your garlic and saute for about two minutes. Then you want to add in about 200 ml of fresh cream. Then add in about one and a half cups of chicken stock. Then you want to add in about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of both Parmesan and mozzarella cheese. If you can't find Parmesan cheese, you can use hard cheese from Pick and Pay as an alternative. If your consistency isn't as thick as you'd like it to be, you can add in just a bit more of both cheeses, but please note that you don't want your mixture to be too thick because it will thicken once it cools down. Add your prawns into your cream mixture and a teaspoon of chili flakes and then mix. Then you want to add your pasta and that additional water from the pasta that we set aside earlier into this mixture and then cook for an additional 5 minutes. While the pasta is cooling down, you can use this time to chop some parsley that we're going to use for garnishing. And 
that is it for this video guys i really hope that you enjoyed cooking with me i really hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up please like comment share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye